going on my Super Saiyan which is Rhyme Style here and today we're fighting Gotenks again. But Rhyme Style, why are you fighting him again? That event is easy. Easy air quotes to those who don't have 120% leads, it might be somewhat challenging. The reason why is because it gives me an excuse to run this team. This is slowly turned into one of my favorite teams to run in the game. Why? Well mostly because they get the job done and it's not as easy as using like Super Saiyan 4 Goku for example or Intelligence, Gogeta or even running my Intelligence team that has LR Gohan. It's a really good team that survives and gets a job done. It's been a lot of fun to use this for the last couple of weeks, and I figured let's jump in and face off against Gotenks with this team. Now I know what you're thinking. Well, Ryan's style, he's physical Gotenks. You got the type advantage. Where's the fun in that? Well, surprisingly, it's actually not that um, easy to use this team because they don't hit as hard due to the fact that the most important Gotenks, um, or I guess the, the type advantage Gotenks that I'm going to be attacking, physical Gotenks, SSJ3, is going to be tanky and uh, even if I hit him with a critical with let's say Janemba for example or even Broly it's still going to do only like 50,000 to 100,000 damage because of tankiness so if freaking Gotenks turns into agility Gotenks he's going to have the advantage on me and it's going to hurt if he turns into strength Gotenks he's still going to be somewhat tanky and it won't be like one of those things where I get the job done with one attack and then that's it we get the trophy we get the victory GG so it's like a really fun team to run, and like I said, it's a lot of fun to test it out, so I figured, why not? Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, first things first, I need to take out this agility uh, freaking, yeah, let's take out this agility uh, uh, go ten. I almost call him go tanks. Let's take out agility go 10 first, so we'll do this. This is going to suck, because if I don't kill him, which I don't think I'm going to kill him, um, my defense is going to drop to 20, 000, oh, to 10,000, so minus 20,000, and when he hits me, especially if he supers me, it could be kind of dangerous, so let's see how that works out. Do we have enough for a super attack here? No, we do not. But we can at least tank the uh, trunks attack. Not that it matters. All right. So I'm hoping he supers me first. No super. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. Hope for a crit. Let's see. Wait. I think there's a friend one. The friend one doesn't have crits. Mine has crits, but the friend one uh, talons. Oh no, that is mine. Okay, just kidding. All right. So he's out. We got the main problem done. And now freaking Bro is gonna jump in and destroy uh, trunks, just like he should have done in the freaking movie, um, the Second Coming, of course. All right, so we got uh, two down, or pff, one down. Well, technically two down. Round one down. Phase two. Ooh, look at the scary Super Saiyan three Go Tanks. I'm so terrified. Not really. Let's go ahead and jump and see what we can do against this man over here. All right, here we go. So this turn, unfortunately, I do not have um, anything too hard hitter wise. Uh, my defense is looking like this, so my best option is going to be, I guess. Technically, this is probably the best option to do. So what I'm actually doing is I'm not going to use any of those red orbs. Instead, let's give the yellow orbs to sell over here. My uh, 17 is not Dokkan Awakened yet. Um, I was going to do that yesterday. I started to do that yesterday, and then I forgot. And then next thing you know, the freaking event was done. So, unfortunately, he's going to be staying in his freaking um, regular <laughs> non-awakened form. So, let's see what happens. Of course, he's super in freaking Cell. Of course, he is. Now, the good news is, is I'm going to tank it. So, that's fine. This part is it's comically easy. I don't have to worry about that. This Cell, by the way, is coming to Global. The question you're probably wondering is, is do I sell him for a Rhyme Style? The answer is no. Do not sell him for Cell. Unless they drastically change him like they did with Goku Black, because remember Goku Black did get a massive buff on the global version of the game. Unless they mass uh, massively uh, change him, save your stones for Super Saiyan 4. The Super Saiyan 4 banner should be coming out sometime, I want to say, in um, July. I think that's when the anniversary is. And right now, all they're trying to do is try to get you to use your stones. So do not waste your stuff. Trust me on this. Do not waste your stuff. All right, so we got two attacks there, two over there, so two and two. Let's put Janimba here. We'll give Janimba all the red orbs. Why? Well, because we don't really have to go all out and destroy him with Broly's attack. Because he's basically done this turn. And then we'll do this. So yeah, Cell is a great unit. But you're not going to use him uh, actively until Janimba comes out. When Janimba comes out, this man is going to be one of your best friends as long as the super attack is up. Mine is garbage. Mine is just SA1. He's great on this team. Look at that. I love, this is why I love running Janimba. He's so freaking cool. Um, his attack is awesome if you have him maxed out. Mine is, mine is literally... The epitome of, uh, he's like a level 3 noob from RuneScape. Because <laughs> what happened with Cell was, I got him when he first came out, I ran him on my villains team, and I dropped him literally like two weeks later because another better option to run at the time. So I never got a chance to kind of level him up. So if I'm going to make a more optimal um, setup here, the best thing I can do is going to be to uh, get some Elder Kai's into him, or maybe just get some dupe cells into him. I actually got a couple of dupe cells. Fingers crossed that I can get an SA up. If I can do that, that'd be great. If I can't, uh, well, Elder Cards are the next best option. And then maybe invest some orbs into him. And if you do that, Cell is going to be your best friend 
on the strength team. So here's what we got. So we got 19,000, 12,000, 26,000. I think this is the best setup we can do. So let's go for one of these first. See, the beauty of this is, is I know I'm not going to get attacked. You know what? Let's do let's do the explosion attack. Let's just do the explosion attack because why not? And then, ooh, that's actually going to screw me, but whatever. Let's put these red orbs together. Just kidding. The red orbs didn't really work out. But we still got four of this, so that's fine. Got one dodge. I love the fact that this man Janima dodges as much as he does in his event. <laughs> it's great. Normally, the way it works out is, is, is they make the freaking boss more OP, and then when you actually get the card, it's like, oh, well, it's not that great. Dodge it. Oh, come on, man. You should have dodged that. But yeah, this card is incredible. It's probably one of my favorite cards in the game at this point. Which is funny, because I made fun of Gotenks for not being original. Janimba technically is an original, but him having the ability to dodge does make him somewhat more unique than his previous version of the card. The dodge is great, and it act activates so much. I think it's like a 25% chance to activate. So like, he is, just trust me, he is amazing. Alright, what we got? So we got three and two. So let's just do this like this. Uh, I'm actually going to try to not do a super attack with Broly. Because my defense, what's my defense looking like? Uh, 3,000, so adopt drop down to 10,000. You know what? Let's do it. Why not? Screw it. You only live once, right? Let's do that. And then we can give all the purple orbs to to uh, uh, 17 here. Now, when you awaken 17, what I believe what happens is he gets uh, he goes from having an extreme modifier to an immense modifier, and he also gets a 40% boost uh, for his attack. Ooh, look at that, critical. Then he also gets a 40% boost for his attack when he's awakened. So he becomes actually really, really good for this team. Uh, like I said, the only reason why mine's not awakened yet is because, well, I, I kind of failed. <laughs> I was literally working on. I need like I need like I think two more runs against Cell. And then I have enough medals to awaken him, and then he'll be amazing on his team. But for now, he's just, he's just kind of there. And to those who don't know what, what Cell, not Cell, but 17, what 17 does is he changes orbs to rainbow orbs, which just gives me a better chance to pull off, uh, you know, obviously super attack with um, my cards. All right. Is he going to go into agility form or strength? Okay. I like playing this on hard mode. It's fine. I like to play this on hard mode. If you went into strength mode, that was going to be way too easy. So let's see what we can do against this man right now. So first things first, you're attacking several times right there. Let's put you like this. This is going to be our, our setup for success here. Um, I really don't want to use items, but I'm going to need to. So let's go ahead and use a quick sensor bean. Because right now this man is about to start hitting me really hard. That's a super attack. The beauty of Cell is he gets um, freaking super attacks for not having all his key in there. They all vary based on what it is. His 11 key super attack attacks all as well, to those wondering whether or not uh, you want to use him on global. He's a great attack all unit, by the way, but at this point, because of how Broly came out, there's literally no reason to waste his stones on Cell. On top of that, Cell, I promise you, is going to come back so much before Janima comes out. Trust me, save your stones. Save your stones. Do it. Do not waste stones. Alright, like I said, unless they change it. If they change him, buff him, and make him a lot better than he was in the JP version, we will all let you guys know. Alright, what we got? <sighs> okay, so this is kind of scary because you know what we're gonna do here. We're gonna do all those red orbs for you. We're gonna lose. Um, we're gonna lose. Is that ultimate attack? It is. We're gonna lose. Um, what's his face? Janimba here for a little bit. The question is, yeah, we're gonna do it. I was like, should I use a sensor beam? And the answer is yes, because I know this Gotenks hits stupid hard. Obviously, because he's got the top advantage. So let's do this right here, and let's see how this works out. All right, what, what do you got for me? Do the big attack, and then the second attack. Here we go. All right, what do we got? This team, like I said, is a lot of fun to run. Like. I can beat any event with this team, but it's not like one and done. And like when you have teams like that where it's not like one shot, it's a lot more enjoyable to play. It's a little more challenging, but not really challenging. Does that make sense? I don't really know. How many of you guys have already beaten Gotenks, by the way? And what team did you guys use? Let me know down below. I'm kind of curious. See, like the thing is, like I saw a couple comments the other day. Wow, that hit for a lot. I saw a couple comments the other day that were like, you know, this event is even that hard. It's not. The thing is, is you have to think about what other people have around you. For example, if, you know, the average player doesn't even have a 120% lead unit, or it hasn't even awakened, this is going to be a lot more challenging than it is, you know, for someone like, you know, uh, us, who might have more units. So that's the thing about this event, is like, you have to think about what other people have, and that's what determines whether or not this is a difficult event. Because for me, technically, every event is easy. Uh, okay, he's attacking a lot there, so unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of our freaking, whatchamacallit there. So here's what we'll do. Uh, I guess this is the best setup, probably. So let's do... You know what? I don't really even care about him getting a super attack off. We'll give those for you, and then I'm not gonna I'm not gonna heal yet because I don't need it. So let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. If he transforms back or defuses, well, not if when he transforms back or defuses after this turn, um, I should be able to destroy him because he only has not that much health left. Again, the only thing he has over me right now is the fact that he has you know the freaking the tankiness of this of this go tank. Even if I use, like I said, I'm testing this out. 
even if I use Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he still survives it. Can we dodge a super attack? Okay, I guess he's not even going. Look at that! Three dodges in a row! I'm telling you! This oh! Out of out of four attacks. So we dodge 75% of those attacks. That card is amazing. I freaking love it. Alright, what we got? So let's actually do this. This is a good setup. Let's do um uh, those four. I'm sure he's gonna super me here in a second, but that's fine because Broly's not gonna have to worry about anything here. So 18,000, 30, 30, okay, uh 116,000. I should be, yeah, should be okay. Let's give you this one. Let's see how this works out. I like to live dangerous. I like to use as little items as possible. All right, I should be fine because I have decent uh, defense here. So I'm just only gonna do like 40,000. Okay, 30,000, even less, even less than that. Now this is Broly's revenge. You want to attack me? <laughs> You're beauty saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I still like running Broly too. Like a lot of people try to say that Broly's not that useful outside of World Tournament. That's not true at all. Um, granted, he didn't do much damage there, but again, remember, tank, Tanky Gotenks is tanky. He's meant to take an attack. That's how this works out. All right, let's see what happens. Can we actually finish him off without using any items? That's what I want to know. Unfortunately, you know, it doesn't matter how many times I lower his defense and stuff like that. He's going to reset in two turns anyway, so I guess two sets of turns. So with all the, yeah, okay, now, of course he's back to this agility form. All right, this game wants to play me. This game really wants me to play this in hard mode right now. Okay, so I'm going to kick it off by doing this first. With one of these, here we go. Uh, you know what? We're actually about to get a Dokkan attack. So we're gonna do this. We'll give these to you. The question is, is should I you? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm gonna kill him right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm going to defeat him right now with his Dokkan attack. But just in case, just in case, we're going to. Oh, we didn't even get a Dokkan attack. No, we'll get it next turn. We'll get the Dokkan attack next turn. That's fine. See, I'm glad I got that freaking sensor beam there, or I guess the, the Dende. See, that helps out. Here we go. Uh, if you guys like Janimba, Strength Janimba. I want you to hashtag Janimba all over the comment section below. The other cool thing I like about Janimba is the fact that they gave him a brand new attack as well, as opposed to Gotenks who only got one new attack and then they kind of, you know, reuse the same animations for the other moves. So he has a brand new super attack as opposed to his Lightning Shower Rain that we've seen that super attack twice in this game now with Intelligent Janimba and then the Kid with Janimba from uh, the Dragon Ball Fusions event. All right, let's try this again. So we're gonna do this so we can get, we're gonna finish him off right now. That's my Janimba too. I think my Janimba is better than Talon's. I think. I might be wrong though. Uh, let's link you together. We'll do this. And then Broly. Broly's not going to get a super attack, but that's okay. We're done here. We're done here. This is going to destroy this man. Alright, here we go. Do your thing, Janimba. Bust out that Dokkan mode. Watch me miss all six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, look at that. I got all of them. It's funny because, like, <laughs> off camera, I'll just. I don't know it's because I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna lay back and let's focus. But every time I do that, I always miss those things. I'm like, dude. We usually only miss like one, one or two, but I never miss all of them. I wonder if there's anybody out there that actually misses all of them. If so, what are you doing? Let me get a critical with that. No critical. But you know what? It was enough to take him out. We're done here. Okay, that was fun. Ladies and gentlemen, that is Janimba in the extreme, uh, extreme, I almost said extreme tech, extreme strength team. If you had enjoyed, if you had enjoyed, if you enjoyed that video and had fun, make sure you leave a like right below and a comment. And uh, let me know your thoughts overall on running this team as well as, you know, anything else that, that was discussed in this video. Hope you guys enjoyed today. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace.